it's time to replace my FEP on my Frozen Sonic Mighty 4K. The FEP I found off Amazon is by a company called CH Power. It's $26.99 for three sheets. And I believe they're 280 by 200 is the size. And since I got Prime on Amazon, I get free shipping. I get it in two days. There's two warehouses here in Vegas, so that's convenient. But rather than order overseas and only get one for about the same price or more, I went on to a Facebook group. They're talking about different brands that you can get online. So today I'm trying out DotBit DLP 3D FEP film for DLP 3D printers. And I've got three sheets in here. So when I first got my Frozen Sonic Mighty 4K, I tried their 4K resin. I tried many different resins. And I had failure after failure. Tons of problems. And it's kind of like the printer got better. After a few weeks, it kind of broke itself in and it got better. Now I'm strictly using Shry Tech resin in it. Unless I find something out from another company or I try something out I really like, for now I'm just sticking with Stry Tech. And as you can see on my build plate here, I've got quite a few scratches. I got one little gouge in it, but it's not going all the way through. I earlier I dumped out the resin, I cleaned it out really good with uh, I use uh, where's that? Spray away glass cleaner. Whenever I clean up any kind of resin spills, I love spray away glass cleaner. You can buy it anywhere. It works really good. So I wiped out my vat really good. I drained it back into my bottle, scraped out all the excess I could with the spatula. Then I sprayed it out real good with, real good with the glass cleaner. And once I re-replace the vat today, something I highly recommend if I can find the bottle. On my Elegoo Mars, I always use PTFE lube lubricant. I would put it into the build surface. I put it down here on that VP. I'd wipe it in with a blue shop towel. These will not scratch like a regular white paper towel will. I would wipe it in, pour my resin. That assisted me and it worked quite well. Working on this mid-sized printer, that didn't really work for me. I still had a ton of suction force, a lot of pulling and popping. And a few people suggested, hey, why don't you try rain -X? This stuff is magical. I squirted in some rain -X on the FEP. I wipe it in real good, wipe out the excess, put the vat in, dump in the resin. There's little to no popping with this rain -X. I love this stuff. And you can just keep pouring in resin, keep printing. It works fine. Until you actually drain the vat, scrape it out, you don't have to reuse it. But yeah, this stuff's going to last a very long time, and I love it. Well, anyway, enough with me gabbing. Let's get to replacing. So you flip over the build plate. I want you cleaned it out. The reason I have on gloves is there, there could be some slight resin up underneath this step. Once I remove this, all the videos you see online where companies are showing you how to replace it, they're not wearing gloves, it's because they got a brand new machine. So for safety's sake, let's wear some gloves. Okay, we've got 22 screws that we have to take out here all the way around. Let's go around one at a time, take them off, set them to the side. And if you have something electric, you can get them started. Or put too tight, break them with a hand tool, and then put some a little bit of power on it and screw them out that way. Pop it up from underneath, take that off, and yeah, we've got resin on the lip. Red and blue shop towel and wipe that off real good. You can take your spray away glass cleaner and clean it if you like, or just wipe it off real well because we'll get more resin on when it goes back in the bat. And one side is flat that goes down against the theft, and the other side is countersunk. Obviously, that's where the screw goes, and the tapered part will go on the top here. So and take this little piece of fat and you can see how it's shaped at an angle once it's in there really super tight it reforms itself so that's no good it's garbage now throw that away wipe this frame up real good in case there's any residue or resin on that lip alrighty 
And I got my new piece of up here. One of three. It's going to have a plastic covering on both sides, kind of like your LCD screen does here. So let me take off my gloves here so I can feel that. There we go, blue tape to the rescue. <laughs> Couldn't get them separated, so I put a piece of blue tape on it. I need to try to grab them the corner. Alrighty, here's our sheet of pep. Hey, this one's going to be different than the Mars. This is going to go directly on it. Just evenly space it. Put all the screws in and press it down. It's going to pull it extremely tight. There's not two layers on the Mars. There's two layers on this frame, and then you have to put a spacer in there. On this one, we're not going to do that. I'm going to pop it through and tighten it up, and as it sucks itself down, it's going to pull the FET tight all the way around, and then we'll jump around when we tighten it up. Take our first little bolt here and start in a corner. And you just press it and it'll pop through the pep. Make a little popping sound. You can take that one in. Do not snug. Just get it kind of snug, not tight. Let's go ahead and do all four corners. Kind of jump around. A little press right through the pep. You can put a little pressure on it and snug it down a little bit. Now you just take a razor knife and you cut off the excess right on that edge. Nice and tight. Sounds good. Okay, the next thing I want to do, where is it at? Take a little bit of rain axe like I was talking about, put a little bit in there, take a blue shop towel, just wipe it around real good and coat it. You basically dump it in and you wipe it out. You leave a nice film on the bottom, 
It will help with your suction issues you're having. And that's good to go. We're ready to start printing some goodies. Yeah, I had to press it down through the FEP there to get it back on those holes. So please like, subscribe, and share, and I hope you liked the video. Thank you. Have a happy printing, everybody.